when we multiply two fractions by each other, um, what we're really doing is finding a part of a part. We're finding three-fourths of two-thirds. And I always emphasize that this multiplication sign says of. When we're talking about a whole number, like if this was just three, it'd be three groups of two-thirds. If we're talking about only whole numbers, it's three groups of two. Um, but when we're talking about a fraction, that groups goes away and it's just a part of a part, piece by piece. Three-fourths of two-thirds. So what we do to do this with a model is we draw a box and I'm first going to only worry about this fraction. I'm going to split this into four pieces because I have four as my denominator. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four. And then I'm going to go ahead and shade in my fraction. So I have only three pieces. So let's shade those all in. Three fourths. So now I've modeled my first fraction. My next step is to model my second, but I'm gonna go right on top of it. So I'm gonna cut my box the other way, horizontally, into thirds. And then I'm going to shade two pieces. Again, I'm going right on top, overlapping. And what I wanna know is how much of this entire box um, is shaded twice, how much overlapped. So I can count one, two, three, four, five, six pieces that I shaded both blue and green. And then how many pieces are there total? There's four in a row and four times three, because there's three, um, three rows of four, is 12. So my answer would be six twelfths, but I can simplify that. Both of these numbers, I'll squeeze this in here, can be divided by six. Six divided by six is one, and 12 divided by six is two. So one half of my box was shaded twice. That means three fourths times two thirds equals one half or three fourths of two thirds is one half.